Your skin looks reddish, gives you pain and seems to be dry, itching makes you feel disgusted. What exactly is this? There are possibilities that it is eczema. When it comes to our skin, we are cautious always, aren't we? Eczema is a skin ailment. It's the reason for patches of skin to become cracked, inflamed, hurting, and rough. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be telling you all about eczema treatments. Watch this video till the end and don't forget to like and share. Eczema is a major condition and it affects a lot of us. Blisters are a side effect of several types of eczema. The term dermatitis means skin irritation. Many individuals use the term eczema to refer to atopic dermatitis which is the most common kind of eczema. Atopic dermatitis, asthma, and hay fever are just a few of the immune-related disorders referred to as atopic. About human skin. As eczema is a condition related to the skin, first, we should know about the difference between eczema-affected skin and healthy skin. Our skin gives an effective and powerful barrier that offers protection to the body from irritation or infection. Skin is a combination of an outer layer that's thin, a fairly elastic layer in between, and a thick layer at the most deep stage. Every layer has skin cells, fats, and water, all of which help in maintaining and protecting the skin condition. Healthy Skin Healthy skin cells are full of water, forming a safety barrier against infection and damage. The oils and fats inside the skin help in retaining moisture, maintaining the temperature of the body, and also preventing dangerous bacteria or substances from entering our bodies. Barrier Function and Eczemataceous Skin If you're living with eczema, your skin may not produce as much oils and fats as the skin of other humans and will be less able for retaining water. Therefore, the protective barrier is not as good as it needs to be. Spaces open up between the skin cells because they are not plumped up with enough water. Then, moisture is lost from the skin's deep layers, letting irritants or bacteria pass through more comfortably. What Gives Rise to Eczema? Researchers are unsure what causes eczema, though several doctors think it results from a combination of hereditary and environmental factors. If a mother or father suffers from eczema or any atopic disorder, the chances of their children having it increase. The risk is even greater if mother and father both suffer from atopic dermatitis. Eczema symptoms may worsen by selected environmental variables. Eczema can be triggered by dust mites, pets, mold, and pollens. Allergic eczema is a medical term used for this kind of condition. Microbes like bacteria, viruses, and fungi also cause eczema. Other causes of eczema are very high warmth and coolness, stress, and food. The good part is that more than half of today's eczema-affected children will be free of it by the time they reach adolescence. When a woman's hormone levels change, such as during pregnancy or at particular points during the menstrual cycle, she may notice an increase in eczema symptoms. Symptoms of eczema. Dairy and nuts may make eczema symptoms more severe. Eczema is a condition of the skin. Many people will grow out of it, whereas some of us continue to live with eczema far into adulthood. Pollen, smoke, soaps, and scents are some environmental triggers. Atopic dermatitis symptoms depend upon our age and the seriousness of the condition. It also varies by individual. Eczema symptoms are typically moderate, dry, scaly skin, itching, flushing of the skin, and open crusted sores that weep are most frequent signs of atopic dermatitis. For those of us living with eczema, we will frequently have periods when our symptoms intensify, followed by periods when those symptoms improve or settle down. Rashes can occur at the back of the creases of elbows or knees, rashes at the neck, bumpy rashes, skin thickening, also called lichenification, which can later turn into a lifelong itch, are all common atopic dermatitis symptoms in children aged 2 and up. Rashes on the scalp, rashes on cheeks, rashes that become bubbles before spilling fluid, and rashes that lead to acute irritation, which keep us up at night, are all common atopic dermatitis symptoms in babies under the age of 2. By adolescence, an estimated 60% of youngsters would no longer have symptoms. Eczema shows an effect on the majority of us prior to reaching the age of 5. There is a possibility of that eczema is more severe for African American and Hispanic kids than in white youngsters. Many of us adults who had atopic dermatitis as kids but no longer have it might experience dry skin, eyelid eczema, easily irritated skin, or hand eczema. Rashes that are known to be more scaly than those in kids, rashes that occupy much of the body, dehydrated skin in the affected parts, 
Itchy rashes, skin infections are all common atopic dermatitis symptoms in grown-ups. The correct treatment for you depends on your medical history, age, how severe your symptoms are, and other factors. You will probably have to try a mixture of remedies to get the best results. Also, there are things we must do on our own for keeping our skin clear and healthy, like not scratching. Of course, this sounds impossible and we have heard it over and over and over again. When we scratch, our skin becomes inflamed and irritated. Even worse, our skin can split open, bleed, and become infected by bacteria. When we have some really bad flare-ups, we suggest using a damp washcloth with cool water and apply it to the affected area. Another thing you can do by yourself is trim your fingernails. If you scratch an itch with no long nails, there are fewer possibilities that the skin breaks open. Short, warm water baths or showers can also help. Hot water can aggravate our itching. Ask your doctor if you can use soaking oatmeal goods in your bath for relieving that nasty itch. For keeping your skin clear and healthy, avoid perfumed soaps, adopt full moisturizer soaps, and pat your skin dry with a gentle towel. Then, for preventing your skin from being very dry, use a moisturizing ointment or moisturizer. You can apply this moisturizer multiple times per day. Drinking plenty of water will also help keep your skin hydrated. To make your skin feel better, wear loose clothing. Cotton or other soft authentic fibers should be worn. Discuss with your doctor what seems to be triggering your flare-ups and try avoiding those triggers. Stay calm, avoid stress whenever possible. When you're anxious, you will probably notice that your eczema gets worse. Come up with strategies for dealing with your stress, like having a word with your mother or father, a teacher, your sibling, or a friend that you can trust. Look out for more precautions in the winter season. Fortunately, there are chances that eczema might get treated with natural therapies. Some of them are aloe vera, apple cider vinegar, and coconut oil. Treatment of eczema. Topical corticosteroid creams and ointments are an excellent way of treating eczema, but please be careful. Prescription treatments can have other short-term and long-term side effects, and you will need to discuss them with your doctor. However, they can be extremely effective for relief. They can be massaged directly into the skin. Prescription strength medicines can be beneficial to certain patients. If topical therapies don't show expected results, a doctor may suggest oral treatments called systemic corticosteroids or immunosuppressants, which can be used as injections or pills. Another treatment for eczema is antihistamines. They can decrease the chance of overnight scratching as they make you sleepy. If eczema has a connection with a bacterial skin infection, doctors may advise going for antibiotics. The medication known as topical calcineurin inhibitors inhibits the working of the immune system. It decreases irritation and aids in the prevention of flare-ups. Moisturizers with barrier repair can also be used as a treatment as it helps to prevent water loss and also repair the skin. Another medication for eczema is phototherapy. This includes being exposed to ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B waves for some time. That's why a little bit of natural sunlight always helps us feel better. Moderate dermatitis can be solved with the natural treatment. Throughout the therapy, a doctor will keep a close eye on your skin. The last treatment that we'll talk about is injected biological drugs. These therapies inhibit the quality of the immune system for responding by helping to block the proteins inside the immune system. Also, when a section of your skin has been treated, it is critical to maintaining care for it because it may turn inflamed again very quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, as we have come to the end of this video, please do drop in your precious response in the comments below. For more amazing videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Until next time, goodbye and stay safe.